business needs to talk, but it also needs to know where it stands. Let's do something about it. Bizline includes a plan with unlimited one-hour local and national calls for a fixed monthly price. Bizline. One bill, no surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you and um, to thank you for coming along to our first event. Um, I am very pleased to say that this event is organised in conjunction with the Trans Tasman Business Network, who are our partners in this series. And I guess it really behooves me to explain what it's about. Well, I'm hoping that as you look around the room tonight and exchange business cards and talk to people who you haven't met, um, we'll stop one um, point short of making you introduce yourself to a stranger next door. But um, please do that because the whole idea is that you'll find in this room that there are people with suits and people without. And that's kind of ideologue. Um, we are the commercial creatives, as like we like to think of ourselves. And that means that we are really championing, championing the creation of intellectual property in New Zealand. You see, New Zealand has a really unique problem. We are very good at inventing and we're pretty crap at business. And that's part of our job, is to help bridge the gap between creative and business. And we've got a job on our hands to um, rescue this country from uh, being owned by our good friends across the ditch. So um, in that process, we thought a really good way to start is to um, launch a magazine that brings creative and business together into one environment. And you see in this room a lot of what we're trying to do expressed in a live form. So thank you for joining us. And it's also my pleasure to um, thank our speaker for joining us, Joseph Roberts, who really embodies exactly what we're talking about of um, creative business at work. So um, thank you, Joseph. I can see the vodka red bulls have been going down tonight, so I guess I'll be talking to a few alert drunks. <laughs> I'm used to that. I'm here because I really believe in what Idealog is doing and what it stands for. And the launch of this business network is a step in furthering their vision and building their bigger picture. So thank you, Vincent, and the Idealog team for inviting me along. Red Bull has certainly been an amazing journey for me, but it's not the only thing I've done in my life. What's important to remember is that there is no textbook. If you're a true entrepreneur, you write your own. You make it up as you go along. You do it your way. This is what being an entrepreneur is all about being brave, being slightly crazy at times, and taking risks. Above all, you've got to give enormous energy to your cause. I think if you can do this, you can really achieve huge things. My story starts the day I was born, and specifically the condition I was born with. It's known as DDS. I suspect some of you may have it as well. DDS stands for Dogged Determination Syndrome. I was born with it. I didn't ask for it, and I've not been able to cure it. In fact, it was just, just got worse over the years, and the bad news is it's terminal. <laughs> it's basically this dogged determination that has forged the path of my life. The success, and sometimes the failure. It's given me lots of fun, and got me into quite a bit of trouble at times as well. But it's all been part of my journey, and so far it really has been an amazing journey for me. Some of you may have read an ideologue that I was drunk when I first discovered Red Bull. Isn't it great? You've got to be pissed to find the Holy Grail. It's true. I was in a bar in Europe, playing up, as I did quite a bit of in those days. Well, anyway, I fell in love with Red Bull. And through relentless persistence in the old DDS, I convinced the owner of Red Bull that I could take his precious can of drink to the other side of the world and build a culture out of it. And that's exactly what we did. We started by building a culture. I never worried about selling the product. I thought if I could take care of the culture, sales would take care of themselves, and they did. Creating a new category is a big challenge, but if you crack it, it's the most rewarding. Today, when I look at opportunities, 
I tend to separate them as either a new category, so a solution to a problem the market didn't know that it had, or repackaging an existing product, same or similar liquid, in a different can or a different bottle with a new brand name, increasing the value by making it look better, and then asking more for it. That's about creating a new positioning or repositioning an existing idea. Whatever your idea or your product or the business you want to build, you have to overcome huge obstacles, and I'm sure you all know that. But I think that if fundamentally your concept is sound, then the biggest to overcome as an entrepreneur is yourself. That's because at a certain point you can feel very lonely on your journey. You can quietly fill up with fear and doubt about what it is you're doing. Can I do this? Will it work? What happens if it doesn't? What will my friends say or my business colleagues if I fail? Well, you mustn't care about that. I couldn't let that be my reason for not trying. I mean, don't be stupid either. And don't expect that just because you are trying, you deserve success. Because that's not the case. You win because you get all the elements right. End of story. But in the end, I think the biggest element is you and getting over your own fears and having the confidence to drive your idea home. This is what it's all about and this is what you have to do. The underlying message is that for me, thinking differently and doing it your way is what it's all about. It's what works for you in the end that counts, not somebody else. There are no textbooks. Don't always listen to the establishment. Change it if you can. And if there are walls around you, then do your best to break them down. But above all, have some fun, whatever that means for you. Enjoy the clip. Thanks for having me. And don't forget to dig your life. We're all lucky to be alive. Thank you.